Welcome back everyone to another success video recording with Ajesh, a data engineer who got a job in Hamburg and we are here today at our office. Welcome, how are you doing today? Hey, doing fantastic, hope you're doing good as well. Thanks for uh, this detailed information. I'm, I'm good, thanks. Ajesh, today we want to talk about um, your experience during the tech rounds you have uh, experienced here in Germany. You joined our program, got a job uh, just a few days, uh, more than a month, uh, within a month. That means <laughs> at the end you had around 15 interviews, I think, you, you went through. Uh, just actually before we started the recording, another company called him and offered him a contract, um, but he already signed with a very... Uh, a good company, very nice offer you got in Hamburg. So I think there's a lot of things you can share with the audience um, and share your experience, what a data engineer actually needs in order to crack the tech rounds. Um, what would be the first thing you see um, that a data engineer need to have in order to pass the tech rounds here in Germany? Um, I think uh, in the data world uh, right now, what I notice Cloud plays a very important role. So as a data engineer, you need to be thorough with the cloud-based technology. Any cloud might be um, Azure, might be AWS, might be GCP. If, uh, if you have all three, that's great. If you have at least two, that's also good. Just to, to talk about your situation, you have worked with AWS and Azure and now got a job with uh, G GCP, which you have never touched before, right? Correct, exactly. Okay, so that is possible. Get an understanding of different cloud yeah. Uh, providers, yeah. And uh, secondly, I think SQL comes in with data engineering by default. So SQL and Python, uh, you have to be strong uh, with that. If not, uh, excellent proficiency with SQL is required and a strong proficiency with uh, Python backend development is required. Um, and these three are good enough. Apart from that, if you have any other additional skills like working with Hadoop, big data technologies, that is a trend. And uh, working with uh, Snowflake, which is a you know trending upcoming uh, data warehouse uh, SaaS systems. So such such uh, implementations will help. Some Linux and Kubernetes can also guide you. Uh, but practically, predominantly, like I said, three, three base technologies have to be SQL, Python, and cloud. Uh, expertise there would definitely help you, uh, you know, crack a job uh, in Germany. And, and always prove that you have worked with that. Huh? Theoretical knowledge only will not get you in, into the market. Yeah. Um, okay, yes. And then um, what is it? maybe more on the the methods and uh, processes i mean start with building something from scratch was that something relevant during the tech rounds uh, that you have that experience that you were able to build um, data architecture and from scratch um, and also getting to the end unit testing 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 is always a big topic here in germany what is your experience uh, on that the design part and the testing part. I think, uh, uh, I mean, I'm a full stack data engineer to be first, just to clarify, and uh, I'm not sure if everyone else would have had the same experience, but practically you would ha need to have understanding of the data architecture and then, um, you know, defining or processing the systems and creating or building all those uh, pipelines, data pipelines, ETL pipelines. And finally, um, automated, I mean, like monitoring, Validation, if that thing somebody has experiences with is good, that, that's what the unit testing is all about, right? You, you validate it, you keep your validation scripts always active to validate the data. And additionally, I would also suggest people who have good debugging experience because mm -hmm. with data comes data issues. I mean, that's, that's like bread and butter of a data engineer. You're not hired just to create a pipeline for once. You would have data issues. And a person who is very good with uh, data debugging and knows how to debug the data because it's going to be different every case. I mean, so far in the past six, seven years, what I've seen is it's not ever going to be the same as the last one that I've done. So debugging uh, is going to be different. And that experience and that uh, explaining that experience in an interview, you know, has a very good catch. Like you make a mark on the interviewers, right? Okay, this person knows about debugging because that, that is something that's going to be very tricky. Not everyone would have the uh, experience of debugging all types of data issues. So, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, data understanding of data architecture, of course, implementation, every data engineer would have already done. Then validation and automation of it and monitoring strategies along with data debugging would, would hold the key, you know, to crack an interview. Yeah. Okay, and um, that are the insights you just shared that you got 
while doing uh, uh, around 10 to 15 interviews, tech rounds here in Germany. That means um, follow these inside, brush up your skills, make sure that these skills and this, uh, these experiences are very well highlighted, emphasized also in your profile. This is what we worked on to really get the foot into the market easily, okay? And if you want to become also part of our program, then feel free to schedule a call with us. We assess your profile and see if we can also support you like we did it with Ajay, who just got a job uh, in Germany, in Hamburg, within uh, a bit more than a month um, in our program. So Ajay, thank you so much for sharing these insights uh, with our community. And uh, we're going to stay in touch and uh, see each other very soon in Hamburg as well again. All the best to you. Take care. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye.